Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all the new subscribers that's coming in. That means well. Thank you so very much. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay? Um, this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged, y'all. Okay? The fair, fair Act use is in the description box. Let's get to it, y'all. Now... <sighs> When I woke up this morning, I was moved to put out a message today, okay? If you day one, twos, and threes, y'all already know. This is how I do it anyway, okay? Sometimes I be on one set, on one thing, and then something takes me somewhere else. But today I was compelled to put out this message right here, okay? And this might pee some people off, okay? But it is what it is. Okay, I want you all to pay attention to all of the videos that Young Dolph was putting out. I know everybody in Memphis and other places all over the world, the celebrities, all this stuff, you know, and it's a lot of celebrities allegedly that's out here pretending, y'all, that they don't know what's going on, but they know what's going on. Okay, because they are part of this mess too. A lot of them are. Okay. Um, something is telling me to say this too. You know, these people that's coming from these other countries, that's coming over here and studying us, studying us, okay? African Americans. When you put a video up on YouTube and say you're studying us, this is the takedown of our people, y'all, okay? I keep telling y'all this. If they're not going to listen to what's right, Y'all fall back and let it be what it, let it, let it be. It is what it is. Okay. There is a, there's a shift, a brewing right now. Okay. It's a takedown and don't be so upset about the takedown. Okay. Y'all, because I'm going to tell you this, when you push evil amongst people, it outweighs the good that you're doing. You cannot pass out turkeys. You cannot pass out all these thousands of dollars and cars, expensive, fancy cars and all of this stuff. And then at the same time, you're putting up videos with demonic messages and imagery in it. You cannot lead people to the slaughter and not expect to be slaughtered yourself. Okay? This is how this works. When you serve the devil, anything can happen at any given moment. As soon as you sign that paper, you can have a heart attack when you sell your soul. Or you can... Be out here a long time and lead a lot of people into a bad direction, okay? These people have been hurting our kids, y'all. Hurting our kids through music. Hurting our kids through the communities. And people are sitting back. I know it's a lot of people upset right now, okay? A lot of people. They're upset about this man being taken out because they, everybody's saying he did so much good for the community. If you're this type of person that's on this pedestal and you're doing so much for your community, then why lead them astray? Okay? I talked about this with Mo3. I talked about this. The same exact thing. Let's get into some things, y'all. Let's get into some things. All right? So... Look at this imagery, y'all. Okay? I talked about the churches now. You can't trust all of these preachers. Okay? The ones that you can church, that trust, their, their hands are clean. There are some that's hands are clean. But there are so many that's not, y'all. And they too are leading their people to the slaughterhouse. Okay? 
But their time is coming too. Okay? This was foretold as well. The Bible says, God will clean up his own house first. Okay, y'all? It's a takedown of Bruin right now, y'all. Okay? Let me, let me say that one more time. God will clean out his own house first. He's going to start at his own house. Okay? Remember I told y'all about all of this Bible, all these rappers talking about, you know, bringing up the Bible and putting the Bibles in their video. You cannot play with God. You can't do it. All right, y'all? Um, Look at the imagery. The covering up of one eye, but you got the cross behind your head. Okay? I want y'all to pay attention to the things that's going on right now. Okay? You're going to have to be strong. You're going to have to heal your own heart right now. Because there's a lot of people hurting right now. But you got to pay attention to what's going on in front of you. Yeah, he did things for the community. But he also was leading people astray. I talked about this with Mo3. When his videos started going into a dark direction. when After he passed away and they started put, putting up videos. And they were, they were dark. Very dark. Where do you think this darkness come from? I keep telling y'all. That death pyre. Okay, y'all? That's what I'm going to call it. Death pyre. Because it sounds like a vampire, right? And he's sitting at that doggone, you know, piano. And he's playing his music. And he's dangling dangling all this evil into all of these rappers videos and all of this stuff if you are an up and coming rapper right now take note okay if you do a video with somebody and they tell you oh no i want you to be in a casket oh no i want you to be in the water with all of this, the fishes and stuff i want you to run away from this fast okay Fire everybody on the set and start all over because this is not what it's about. Open your eyes and pay attention. Here we go. Y'all got me preaching this morning. Remember what I told you about? Remember when I did the um, Jennifer Hudson video and they had that light over her head and she was in the church and they, she was by the exit doors? Remember when I told y'all this? This is how you're marked. Okay? He's in the church. One minute and the next minute, he got a picture up with fire and, you know, all the demonic stuff around him. You cannot play with God. You can't do it. Okay? I want y'all to keep paying attention. He was, to be honest with y'all, he played himself. Okay? Okay? You don't be in the church one minute and the next minute. You're pushing evil. Now that's, I want to read something to y'all. Matthew 6, 24. Okay, y'all? Y'all had me pulling my Bible out today. <sighs> oh my goodness. I, I, I don't do this too often, but you know, because there's a lot of stuff I remember and there's a lot of stuff I don't, Okay. No man can serve two masters, for either one will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. Okay? I'm reading from my Bible, and I'm still putting this up just to show y'all, okay? Now, let's look up mammon, okay, y'all? I keep talking about this, okay? I keep talking about this. Y'all got me talking about it till I'm blue in the face. There's a shift of brewing. It's a war going on between good and bad, y'all. There's a couple of wars going on because we got a war against our own people right now. We got to stand up against the people that's out here pushing this evilness that's going on right now. Let's keep going, y'all. Now, let's look up Mammon. Okay? Let's look up Mammon and read this. Y'all might can't see it, but I'll try to read it to you all. And then I'll put it on the screen. Mammon. Wealth, 
regarded as an evil influence or a false object of worship and devotion. It was taken by medieval writers as the name of the devil of covetousness and revived in this sense of Milton. Others have forsaken mammon in search of something on a more spiritual plane. There go that plane again, y'all. What Mr. Distraction say? Jump on that plane. I'm going to shoot that bee down. Pay attention, y'all. Pay attention to what is put right in front of you. So many people. Did y'all see all them people out there? The kids crying and all of that. But also look at how these rappers are misleading the kids. You cannot, like I said, you can't be out here acting like you're, you know, the, the community's gift. And at the same time, you're leading them to the slaughter about putting this evilness into their homes. When your kids is in that room, listening to this mess. It's changing them. When you say something to them, they got an attitude. When they grow up a little bit, they join in these street associates and they doing all this dirt running around getting, you know, doing all the street pharmacy stuff. This is what you get when you're listening to this mess and listening to this mess and it's pumping you up to go out and do stuff to somebody. This is where this stuff stems from. These rappers are doing this. Not all, but the majority. Let's keep going, y'all. I tell you this man, when I tell y'all this man played himself, he played himself, okay? He's playing himself right here. Look at this picture. He is in the front seat, and then he's in the back seat of the car and pouring straight to his head, okay? Pay attention to this. This duality. Okay? Pay attention. It's just like these double mirrors that you see in all these different. This the same thing. Same thing, y'all. He played himself. Okay? While he was trying to play other people. Now, I wanted to show you this because I keep telling y'all, there's so many subliminal messages right here. And this is why I say, Death Pyre, because they flagged my page, y'all, so I got to call them Death Pyre now. They're behind a lot of things, okay? He was signed to Death Pyre. Look at this vid, look at this picture right here, y'all. Him in the water with the sharks, okay? This is a message to up-and-coming rappers. Stop putting this crap in your videos, okay? Stop pushing this negative evil crap okay now i want to show y'all something else and i want to ring a bell okay same thing this is why i'm telling y'all these labels are behind these videos okay the snakes you in the water swimming with the fishes all of this bull crap this is coming from the labels and they are pushing this to the managers and the managers is telling these people that's doing these video shoots how they want this video to come out, okay? And this is what I was telling you about Mo3. He was with this this guy that was he was working with, this prophecy guy. That name alone tells you something, okay? Prophecy is something that's, you know, foretold. It's, it's, it's going to happen, okay? This guy, he produced videos. He's supposed to be Mo3 friend. Mo3 been paying him for years. When this guy saw them videos going into a dark area, he should have told pull Mo3 to the side and told Mo3 man something ain't right about this I've seen this over and over again but he didn't do nothing he was quiet too he got his time coming as well allegedly okay y'all pay attention pay attention all right let's keep going I want y'all to keep this in mind right here this picture now I want you to look at this this is Mo3's video in the water with the sharks and stuff too, okay? He's he's in there too with the money all around. Is you getting it? The mammoth? 
You can't serve two gods. You got to make a choice. You got to choose one or the other. You can't choose both. You can't one minute you preaching in the next minute you out here sending people off. You can't do that. Now, we back to him. Blew it up a little bit for y'all. Okay? Because we about to talk now. I'm going to put my, my, my Bible up and we're going to talk. When I first heard about this case and I first saw the pictures from um, the cookie place. Okay? When I first saw those pictures and I saw that man hand hanging out that window, the first thing came to my mind was somebody hit him from the back. They hit him from inside of that store. That's the first thing that came to my mind. No, I'm not no professional or nothing like that. But they're showing us two guys running up to a window. Okay? And <clears throat> they're showing that they're hitting at the window. Now, correct me if I'm wrong because people love to correct me. There are not too many instances that somebody is hitting at you 50 times through a window. Okay? And you fall forward. You gonna, all of that heat coming at you, you're going to fall backwards, not forward. So that tells you automatically somebody in that store was a part of this mess. Was there somebody planted in there when he got in there? Or was somebody with him? Okay, y'all? It looks as if he was hit from the back. Did somebody in this store take the first hit? Ask yourself this question. Did they hit first? When he looked out the window to see the guys coming toward him, did somebody behind him hit him first and he fall forward? And then they ran up to the window, the two guys that came to the store, running to the glass, they started hitting. All the shelves is low. The windows is, is hit, hit out at the bottom. So the person that was in there was just to, to set it off to me. This is my personal opinion. And the other two ran up to the window to make sure that he was gone. That's why all the, the hits were low. Why would somebody run up to the store window and all the glass at the bottom is hit out? Ask yourself this question. Make it make sense. Please make it make sense. He was hit first from inside that store. Now, there are rumors coming out that he was in, that um young Dolph was invested in this this cookie place. There are rumors coming out that the father of the girl that's in the that owns the cookie place is a street person, okay? Now there's nothing wrong with street persons coming up. But they say this guy has ties. He has a lot of ties, okay? This was done quick and swiftly. Okay, y'all? They knew what they wanted to do. They knew what they had to do. And they had the right people in place for to do it. They knew where all the cameras were. They knew the... And people talk about, oh, they're going to find some stuff in the car. They ain't going to find nothing, I don't think, in that car. Because they, they, were, they were ready. They had on gloves and all kind of stuff, okay, to make sure they wasn't seen through that camera. And who knew about all them camera angles but the people that owned the place in the first place too. Okay, y'all? Now, until they say it was some, you know, red stuff in the car that runs from your veins, then I'm not going to believe the car thing. Okay? I'm starting to think that they're trying to, you know, shift stuff into another direction. So it won't look like it was an inside job. Now, I'm going to tell y'all another thing that I have been keeping up with. They're saying all kind of donations is coming into this, this store. Are they donations, y'all? Or are they, you know, is this a cover-up of how, you know, fat their bank accounts are getting now? Ask yourself this question. Some may be don donations. Because they got to, you know, they got to come up with something as to why their bank account is getting so big right now. $70,000 worth of donations. Okay, they're, they're making a come up right now. After he was taken out. A lot of stuff ain't adding up. And a lot of stuff seemed like it, it was an inside job. Now, y'all got to pay attention to the fact that a lot of his ops were in the same place where he was. 
Some was from what the north side, south side, and all of this stuff. Yo Gotti them and all of these people. They said this guy was going with one of the others, a woman and all, all kind of stuff. So this guy ain't squeaky clean as everybody want to portray him to be. He was out here doing some dirt too. Okay. Along with the good things that he were doing. I'm just sitting here thinking about right now the message that Mo3 wanted to put out there. He brought to light the churches, the evilness going on with the people from the churches, the evilness going on from the these police, these dirty cops that's retiring from the police station and buying, investing into funeral homes. Don't be surprised when a lot of rappers start investing in funeral homes because they're only giving, you know, making a home for the people that they're leading astray. Don't be surprised, y'all. Okay? Things are coming out now that, like, Young Dolph was, you know, a silent partner of the cookie place. Okay, y'all? A silent partner. If you get rid of the other person and they're a silent partner and there's nobody else has the paperwork on it, then you 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 got everything on lock. Remember what I told y'all when I said that there's so many bags on people's heads right now. So many bags. And these are not no small time people that got bags on. Yo Gotti and all of these people. These are big time. These are big time people now. That they are trying to replace. And who are they going to replace them with y'all? Who's next in line after they done took out. Allegedly. Yo Gotti. And young. Uh, black youngster and all these other people. I hope I'm saying the name right. Who's next to take the place. To sit on the throne. Because that's all this is. A case of games of thrones. And they're moving. They're shaking things up. Because they're moving around. All of these. Big heads right now. Okay. Pay attention. And it's like I said before. This is what I'm going to leave y'all with. These big time. All these big time guys. It's out here rapping and saying all of this crazy stuff. And you they know half all of these people are hooked on the street pharmacy stuff and zooted out their mind. And they're putting these particular messages out there. I want y'all to pay attention to these people, these same exact people. That's running around here with these stacks of money, putting it up to their head. Like they listening to the phone, but they got a stack of money by the ear. They marking themselves. And I want you also to pay attention to the record labels. Do you see Jay Prince and all of them putting stacks of money to their head? No, they letting these fools do it. But there's a shift brewing. I am getting flagged left and right now. From record labels. Okay? Companies. This is what I'm getting flagged from now. They don't want this message out there, y'all. They don't want people to know that, allegedly, that they are behind a lot of this crap that's going on in our communities. Look who runs the liquor stores. Okay, y'all? Look who owns all these gas stations. Look at everybody that's coming over to our country. They don't have to pay taxes the first year. When they open up a business. But we get taxed up to yin yang. Look at. um, What's her name. Um, the R&B singer. Um, Gladys Knight's son. Just went to prison. For taxes. 
Have they touched Trump yet, y'all? They put it out for the world to know that Trump don't pay no taxes. If he do, he pays some crumbs on millions and millions of dollars. And they not coming at him. Everybody else done went to jail. Everybody else. Look at Chris Tucker. He about to go to jail too for not paying taxes. Wesley Snipes went to prison for not paying taxes. All of these people go to prison for not paying taxes. But is Trump in jail, y'all? Everybody around him is getting, you know, charged for stuff. But he's not. Pay attention to what's going on around y'all. Pay attention. And if they're not going to be a part of the solution, they're a part of the problem. So don't feel bad. Don't feel bad when all of these people are being taken out when they're a part of the problem. Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank y'all so much for watching. Be careful and peace.